Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 3 of Forbidden Deductions. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, this is that group. True. Because then he would be just as bad as a regular murderer. When you be having that good sleep. <laughs> that good, good sleep. He's so cute. Like, the fact that he will always be there to stop him. That's so freaking adorable. Uh-oh. We got a part one and a part two. So we automatically know this episode's ever done a cliffhanger today. <laughs> okay, then just buy the cat food. You got a whole bunch of damn cat food in there. You only eat one. Jesus. 70 bucks. Oh. oh, I'm thinking he was getting like 68 tickets because of how much the price was. Oh. 
right, just do it. Yellow. Okay, what's yellow? <laughs> yeah, you might as well both of you go. Be nice. Look, it's just on his side. Oh, well, that's good. Incredible luck. Right. <laughs> Don't I look a little run down, especially with the way the sign looks? I don't know about this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. I don't know about this. Damn. 
Well, something tells me that the water is definitely going to be running red today. Right? Yeah, it looks like a almost like 69 in a way with some lines on it too. Yeah. Ah. Figures there would be more people here, but now we're looking at everybody of wondering who's going to die at the end of this episode. Huh? Seriously? Okay. Damn, that look good. I mean, wouldn't that be something that they're supposed to get, for especially for Ron and Ishiki? Not what they got? <laughs> okay, that someone could be dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You are a child! Wrong. <laughs> It really is. Damn, the window is broke. Jesus. Which is? Just don't throw it too hard when the ping pong ball grows out the window. Oh, hell no. Nah. I just said! Ain't that who I think it is? It is! Oh! <laughs> well, don't be surprised, you are in the mixed bath. Oh, I thought that was just the mix bath. Mm. Oh. 
Oh no, I have a really bad feeling about that. I feel like this is going to be the last moment we see her because the next time we do see her, she's going to be dead. Oh my god, Ron. He's just a cutie patootie. Okay, it's now midnight. They're still playing. And you're telling me homegirl has not gotten out of the bath? What is it that you two are regretting in your life? Hmm. Something doesn't feel What's wrong? It's that woman. I fucking told you. So of course somebody drowned her. Yeah, but you were all together. But what else is he supposed to do? That means somebody knocked him down. Guys, I'll be right back. Hold on, we're going to stop right here. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, my bad. I am sorry. As you heard at the end of the video, um, my mom called me. She needed my help with something real quick. Of course, she was on her way home and such. So it's going to look a little awkward with this last three minutes. I think I'm just going to have to cut it at this part and then just still put it together, but it's going to look weird. But let's go ahead and continue in three Two, one, go. Who was the last one on shift? You. Mm -hmm. And he was hanging out with y'all, watching y'all play the game of life.
Beef was the last one, yeah. But see, it w it wouldn't be obvious for her to do it. She knows nothing about her. Yeah, plus she was drunk. There's no way a drunk person can go ahead and kill somebody like that quickly. At first doesn't mean she's automatically the one who did it. She probably just went to her room to go to sleep, which we all know that. Okay, so we have the husband, the girl who was playing the game of life, the guy who's coming in here who is secretly watching over Ron, and how many uh, staff members? So, like, what, four maybe? Yeah, any one of them could be it. Be it. My money is kind of on the husband because the husband, the last moment that those two had with each other was an argument. Yes, she apologized for said argument, and then, you know, he was like, well, why don't you go ahead and take a bath? Um, because you're the only one who hasn't enjoyed something, which was very a little skeptical to me. So, I mean, yeah, that makes the most reasonable lay like, oh, hey, this is my chance. But if she had to die between midnight and 2 a.m. And everybody was clearly going to bed around 2. Who the hell was capable enough to kill this woman? And why would they kill this woman? So... Pretty much except, you know, Ron and Ichiki and the detective herself, um, aka Ichiki's chief, in a way, they all have allies because they barely even knew the chick. It's just everybody else. Now, the blonde-haired lady, yeah, she probably doesn't know them. Secretly, as of right now, who knows? We ain't gonna know until next Monday, duh. Um, but no freaking clear. I got nothing. I mean, my hunch, it could li it literally be anyone. That's all I can freaking say. It can be anybody. Who freaking knows? But this episode was really good, even with the fact that I had to abruptly end it for a moment to go help my mom and go get my food. Um, I do love the fact that Ron and Ishiki are spending time together in this hot spring trip. You know, hey. <laughs> Give me a little BL, as we say. But, you know, because, like, yes, they are shippable together. They are totally opp uh, opposites attract and they do look good together yes they bicker like a freaking couple and everything even with the fact is that yeah Ishii was like you know what <laughs> you and me on a trip let's go ahead and cancel these tickets or you just give me another set and then take somebody else but um it it's just also really funny that his chief was also the other person that got the freaking tickets to the free trip and such but what if the reason why they killed the wife Whoever it is. Let's say it's one of the staff members. Um, maybe they want the money to fix up the inn. Because, yeah, the, the inn is not really the greatest. We all know that when they all walked up onto it um, and such. You can clearly see that it's very damaged and everything. So what if they want to use something from her? Maybe they were blackmailing her into getting money and such. Um, and then because maybe they she wasn't giving them, quote, unquote, enough money... Um, they were like, fuck it, let's just kill her. But who knows? There, There's something about her that we're really not clearly getting. Um, besides the reason of why and who killed her and such. There has to be something. She possibly has a connection with somebody in, um, the staff or even the other girl. We just don't know until next week. So the possibilities, once again, are <laughs> freaking... Endless. Anybody in, who could have done it did it for a reason. And then anything of what her connection is to anybody in this episode is freaking endless. So, honestly, as of right now, yeah, I still have no fucking clue. But I, I'm going to look. I'm going to say this. My money is on the husband. Y'all had an argument. That was the last freaking thing y'all did with each other before you told her, um, before she apologized and you told her to go take a bath and such. So, there's clearly something there. 
But of course, we have to wait until next week. This <laughs> giving me feels to any damn Detective Conan episode that I've watched that is a two-parter or even a three-parter. And then it just ends abruptly. And you're just like, oh my freaking god, I need to know who the freak did this. And such. And then you, you kind of secretly want to read the manga, but then it's like case number whatever and <laughs> manga volume whatever. And you'd be like, you know what? I'll just wait. <laughs> like, no, we're gonna take my freaking time to just, you know, watch it all <laughs> and find out. But yeah, clearly, it, it literally could be anybody. I just don't think it's our three main characters because they don't know anything about this woman. It would be really weird. If it was one of them. So, yeah. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode three of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.